Hey guys, it's Mark, Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta, and today we've got a pretty cool car, a 1981 Chevrolet El Camino. Yeah, this car was very popular back in the day, and as you know, there's a huge following for the El Caminos. The El Camino came around in the late 50s and kind of ran its demise in the late 80s. But during that time, these cars were very popular because it was a very comfortable sedan-like car that's very versatile with a truck bed. So this is very cool. It's got a small block V8, three-speed automatic transmission, and runs like a champ. And this one's actually got some nice options, tilt wheel, air conditioning. So it's pretty nicely equipped uh, for the vintage of the car. So anyway, come on guys, let's take this one for a drive and see what an El Camino is all about. All right, guys, so now we're taking the 1981 Chevrolet El Camino for a drive, and I must say, the first impressions are the lasting impressions, and this one's tight. It steers straight, stops straight, gearbox is tight, very nice. It appears when we get this thing up to speed a little bit, it just purrs like a kitten. You know, back in the day, I, uh, I was always a fan of the El Camino. Though it wasn't a huge hit with everyone, it seems it gained traction later in years, and now there's a huge following to follow these cars. And again, the, the versa, versatile truck bed, I mean, you could throw something in the back, and it's actually rather comfortable. Now guys, I'm six foot three, and I'm comfortable. But granted, tilt wheel, cozy seat, this is very nice. <laughs> and uh, you get a lot of looks, but it is a cool classic El Camino. The odometer reads just a 35,000 miles, and you know, guys, as clean and rust-free as this car is, I believe that's probably pretty accurate. Though I have no documentation of that, but this drives like a 35,000 mile car. And again, Stopping is just straight as an arrow. Ah, this thing is so nice. It doesn't get any better than a 1981 Chevrolet El Camino.